Hello world, my name is Ben, this is AnyLogic 101, uh, where I share quick tips and tricks about AnyLogic that I learned over many years. And today I want to talk about a painful topic that you need to get, you, you know, you need to understand. Uh, you can see it in the background. Let me pull it into the foreground. I want to talk about errors. You've all seen this happening in your model where you execute something, you click play, it seems to work for a while, and then suddenly, boom, everything breaks down and you get this very scary error message and you're just wondering, like, why why couldn't they make this neater? Uh, we're not going to go into the reason for that today. It's Java. It's, it doesn't have anything with, to do with any logic. It's actually quite helpful. I want to show you a very simple heuristic of how to learn and use those very complex error messages to understand what's going on and that be not be left in the dark. So I've created a very simple model, uh, nothing going on here except uh, some some of my agents being pushed through queue, delay and sync. Um, and let's run it and let's wait until we run into an error and see how we can handle it. And it went very quick. Uh, uh, when briefly, and now we see this exception during discrete event execution, null pointer exception for more detailed C console. So typically, obviously, you will click on that. The sideline developer panel will open and you see the scare error. Now, my first heuristic is this is not helpful at all. I never use this in the developer panel because there are no hot links here. If instead I look here, so I, I, I just switch back to any logic and open the console. If it's not already open, you go to view and open the console. You see exactly the same error message that you see here, but here you can see they're actually live links. So ah, difficult text to understand. Null pointer exception. What is that? What's java.lang.nullpointerexception? dot lang dot null pointer exception? Add, 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 add all this kind of stuff. There is a simple heuristic that you can follow in 95% of the cases. And that is look at the blue links and click on the first blue link that is not one of those null point exceptions. So that is actually taking you to some line of code. So that's literally what I'm doing typically. I just click on the topmost blue link, like main.java to 295. Uh -huh. And now it has opened something that looks again very, very scary. Uh, and it has highlighted a line, the line number 295. And now it's basically saying, look, I've got a null pointer exception at this line. So now we don't need to get scared by all this kind of stuff. Just look at the line that's highlighted. And more often than not, literally in most of the cases, this is a line that you have written. So the problem now is, you can't do anything in here. You can't type anything, can't change anything. But what you can do is you can copy this line, go to the AnyLogic search function, the little torchlight button at the top, or just click Control F and paste it in there. And now it will actually lead you to where this line of code was really written. Um, so it's in my case, it's in main under the delay object. So if I click on that, can just double click in the search function. You're going to be taken to exactly that line of code, you know, and this is now you realize, oh yeah, I've written that. So this is somehow causing an error. So now you know where the error is. You know what the error is, a null pointer exception. So now you can actually go in and try to fix this error. In this case, um, a null pointer exception means, well, what I'm doing here is I take the agent coming through the delay block. I go into its v my name variable, which ha huh, initially is null. So there's a little clue there, and I'm trying to compare it if it's equal to a specific string Ben. Uh, but because v my name is null, this uh, equal message won't work, and that's the null pointer exception. But the way to get there is again follow that heuristic, ignore all the complex stuff down here doesn't really matter. Just click on the topmost blue link. So I can easily fix this. I'm going to give this an initial name of Ben and we're going to be nice and that should work. So let's run the model again and see if we run into another error. So now it's at least working a little longer. 
let me speed things up and ah we're gonna do another error again this one looks different right model logic error and this one actually gives you a kind of intelligent um, text but this is the exception so this is easier to solve it is literally saying what the problem is an agent was not able to leave the port and now it's up to you to actually try to figure out what's going on so it's literally telling you go into root which is main um, go into the source object and its out port so you can actually see it's even highlighted with a little red thing here uh, and check why an agent wasn't able to leave that and then it's even giving you a hint consider increasing capacities or throughput of subsequent object i.e the queue or use something that's called the pull protocol uh, but again you get a very ugly error message coming with that and again if you go into any logic you see it in the console but this time notice there are no blue links and this is very, very rare. And typically, if that happens, any logic actually gives you this quasi-intelligent uh, reply of what's going on, because it has something to do with how you set up any logic blocks. It doesn't have anything to do with custom coding, as previously. Uh, in this case, I just set the queue capacity too little. So that's easily fixed. But the, the main lesson of this is the former error, where there is some code but it causes some exception. Typically, null pointer exceptions are very common. You get a hugely complex error message, but it has these blue links. Just click on the top link. That will take you to the code where the problem was raised. Then it's up to you to think about, okay, what's wrong with this code? What's actually going on? Uh, and then you fix it. Off you go. I hope this little heuristic was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching.